Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, plus people's reactions to those deaths from social media, as seen at Legacy.com at the end of July and the beginning of August 2022. Basketball player Bill Russell died July 31, 2022 at his home on Mercer Island, Washington at the age of 88. He was a legend of the Boston Celtics, one of the greatest players of all time, and a winner of 11 NBA championships. Later, as a coach of the Celtics, he became the first black head coach in NBA history. Russell is also being remembered as a civil rights icon who was honored with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Actress Nichelle Nichols died July 30, 2022, of natural causes at the age of 89. She starred in Star Trek as Lieutenant Uhura in a groundbreaking performance that opened new doors for black women on TV. Nichols is also being remembered for her highly successful work with NASA to recruit women and people of color to the space program. Chef Howie Kleinberg died July 22, 2022, of a heart attack at the age of 46. He was a competitor on Season 3 of Top Chef, remembered for a moment of sparring with guest judge Anthony Bourdain. Kleinberg is also being remembered for his restaurant, Bulldog Barbecue, in North Miami, Florida. Actress Mary Alice died July 27, 2022, in Manhattan. She died of natural causes at the age of 85. She was known for her performance on TV in A Different World and for movies including Sparkle, Awakenings, and The Matrix Revolutions. Mary Alice is also being remembered for winning a Tony Award for her role as Rose in the original Broadway cast of Fences. Ecologist James Lovelock died July 26, 2022, at his home in Abbotsbury, England. He died of complications from a fall on his 103rd birthday. He developed the Gaia theory of ecology, suggesting that the Earth is a living, self-regulating organism. Lovelock is also being remembered for inventing technology that helped determine that smog is caused by human pollution. Football player William White died July 28, 2022, of ALS at the age of 56. He was a safety for the Detroit Lions, who drafted him in 1988 after his college career at Ohio State. White is also being remembered for his time playing for the Kansas City Chiefs and Atlanta Falcons. Actor Bernard Cribbins died July 27, 2022, at the age of 93. He was known for his work on Doctor Who, playing a fan-favorite character, Wilfred Mott. Cribbins is also being remembered for roles in Faulty Towers, The Wombles, The Railway Children, and many other British movies and TV shows. Actress and comedian Pat Carroll died July 30th, 2022, at her home on Cape Cod, Massachusetts. She died of pneumonia at the age of 95. She was the voice of one of the greatest Disney villains of all time, Ursula the Sea Witch in The Little Mermaid. Carroll is also being remembered for performances including the wicked stepsister Prunella in the 1965 TV version of Cinderella, Shirley's mom on Laverne and Shirley, and many more. World War II veteran Samuel Sandoval died July 29, 2022, at a hospital in Shiprock, New Mexico, at the age of 98. A veteran of the U.S. Marine Corps, Sandoval was one of the Navajo code talkers who transmitted uncrackable codes in their native language. He served five tours of duty, relaying important war information, including the surrender of Japanese forces. Sandoval is also being remembered for his life after the war, when he worked as a substance abuse counselor. Producer Burt Metcalf died July 27, 2022, in Los Angeles. 
He died of sepsis at the age of 87. He was a writer and producer for the hit sitcom MASH, the only producer to remain with the show for its entire 11-season run. He is also being remembered as an actor who starred in the 1960s sitcom Father of the Bride and had movie roles in Gidget and Diamonds Are Forever. Metcalf was a U.S. Navy veteran who served for two years in the 1950s. World leader Fidel V. Ramos died July 31, 2022, at a hospital in Manila, Philippines, at the age of 94. He was the president of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998, after playing a prominent role in the country's people power revolution. He is being remembered for bringing new economic stability and growth to the Philippines during his time in office. Ramos was a veteran of the Philippine Army, and he served as Chief of Staff of the Philippine Armed Forces before his time as President. Politician Jackie Walorski died August 3, 2022, in Indiana. She died in a vehicle accident at the age of 58, along with two of her staff members. She was a Republican member of the House of Representatives from Indiana, who had been serving since 2013. Walorski is being remembered for her work on the Committee on Veterans Affairs, as well as for her missionary work. Illustrator Paul Coker Jr. died July 23, 2022, in Santa Fe, New Mexico, at the age of 93. He designed the cartoon version of Frosty the Snowman for the classic TV special, as well as other characters for beloved Rankin-Bass cartoons. Coker is also being remembered for his work for Mad Magazine, including his long-running Horrifying Clichés series. Korean War veteran Robert E. Simonek died August 1, 2022, in Novi, Michigan, at the age of 92. He was a U.S. Marine awarded the Medal of Honor for his valor in battle in 1952 when he threw himself on a grenade to save his fellow Marines. Simonek was honored by the Armed Forces last year when the United States Navy named an expeditionary sea base in his honor, the USS Robert Simonek. Singer Jimmy Sons died July 29, 2022, of complications from a stroke at the age of 75. He was the lead singer for The Shadows of Night, known for their classic garage rock hit, Gloria. Sons is being remembered as a member of the Chicago Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Author Melissa Bank died August 2, 2022, in East Hampton, New York. She died after fighting lung cancer at the age of 61. She wrote The Girl's Guide to Hunting and Fishing, an influential bestseller in 1999. Bank is being remembered for helping launch the genre of chiclet. Sportscaster Vin Scully died August 2, 2022, at his home in Hidden Hills, California, at the age of 94. He called baseball games for the Dodgers for a remarkable 67 years, longer than any other broadcaster working with a single team in pro sports history. He is being remembered as the beloved voice of the Dodgers for generations, who inspired fans to listen to his broadcast on their portable radios even as they were watching the game at Dodger Stadium. Scully was a U.S. Navy veteran who served in the 1940s. You may not know that any family can place an obituary on Legacy in honor of a loved one's memory. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. At least 37 people were killed this week as severe flooding struck eastern Kentucky. Those who died ranged in age from babies to people in their 80s. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. 
flags across the United States have been lowered to honor the memory of Representative Jackie Walorski. Flags in Kentucky have been lowered in honor of Kentuckians lost to or impacted by the historic Eastern Kentucky flooding events that began July 26. Flags in Connecticut have been lowered to honor the memory of Muddy Brook Fire Department firefighter George W. Brown, who died in the line of duty, and U.S. Army Master Sergeant Michael D. Clark. Flags in New York have been lowered to honor the memory of Rochester Police Officer Anthony Mazurkowitz. Flags in Texas have been lowered to honor the memory of Smith County Deputy Lorenzo Bustos, who died in the line of duty. Flags in North Carolina have been lowered to honor the memory of Wayne County Sheriff's Office Sergeant Matthew Fishman, who died in the line of duty. Flags in Georgia have been lowered to honor the memory of Fairburn Police Sergeant Jean Harold Astry. This week also marks several notable anniversaries. Fifteen years ago this week, filmmaker Ingmar Bergman died in his sleep at the age of 89. Sixty years ago this week, actress Marilyn Monroe died of a drug overdose at the age of 36. Musician Jerry Garcia of The Grateful Dead was born 80 years ago this week. He died in 1995 of a heart attack at the age of 53. Actor Peter O'Toole was born 90 years ago this week. He died in 2013 of stomach cancer at the age of 81. Actor Ed Kuki Burns was born 90 years ago this week. He died in 2020 of natural causes at the age of 87. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths and reactions.